or going to score home slash DBS. You cannot, they cannot ask you this question on, on a job interview and say, where's your, where's your SP file, your P file, your password file located? And you say, um, Oracle on the score home slash DB, somebody help me. <laughs> no. They say, oh, no, no, you're not a DBA. This is just something you just know. Memorize it. I don't care how you, I don't, I don't care. Whatever you, whatever you got to do, freaking do it. Just memorize it. Is everybody there? Yeah. Right? So once you do that, I want you to type LS. Type LS. Where'd you get that from? Those beads, man. I've been looking for these beads. Uh, somebody made it for me. Somebody made it for you? Yeah. I'm looking for beads, man. Right? So, all going to score home. Yes, also. P file, SP file, and the what? Um, password file, right? They're all located there, right? So has everybody typed LS? Right? Oh, I love it when you guys send me um, or have errors. It's like music in my ears. We guys have errors and you, you're texting me. Oh, I love it. Uh, what do we need to type? I'm sorry, I was taking notes. CD, Oracle, and Oscar Home, slash DBS. Four. You've done that? Yes. Type LS. LS. List it. Okay. Have you all listed it? Yeah. Oracle, and Oscar Home, slash DBS. You all done that, right? You understand what I'm saying? Now, everybody, very good. Now, hmm. No, you're not there. You didn't type this. CD dollar Oracle underscore home slash DBS. Right? All right? CD dollar Oracle underscore home slash DBS. Guys, if you look up, if you look up, what does this Oracle home mean? What is the actual location for this Oracle home? You see that Aura tab? Slash app Oracle product 11.2 DB home blah, 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 underscore whatever it is. That is the real location for your Oracle home. Right? But this dollar Oracle Home is just an alias. It just helps you. It's easier. It's easier. Easier for me to say um, Charlene than say Charlene, black girl, short hair, um, you know, brown skin. You mean Charlene? A lot easier, right? Very good. The same thing. Right? So, and you guys notice. Everything is always going to start from Oracle Home slash something. Oracle Home slash something. Oracle Home slash something. Right? The kitchen is in what house? The room is in what house? Right? You got to get to the house first and then get to the kitchen. Got to get to the house first and go to the bathroom. Got to get to the house first and get to the garage. Got to go to the house first and get to the living room. Everything starts, you got to get to the house first. And then you can go you navigate yourself to anywhere on the operating system that we use to, what, manage the Oracle database. Cool? All right. Now, everybody, your Oracle Home slash DBS, right? You did LS. So now we have our prod and our stage. Well, for some of you, you might have what? Your ORCL and your, I don't know, whatever it is, right? Who can tell me what the, uh, what, what am I looking for here? Huh? Okay. Now, what is the SP file? How is it written? Uh, Charlene. Okay. And what's the other um, database that I'm looking for? Charlene. Uh huh. Tell me. Do you see it? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. No time. Just look. Look for it. It's in alphabetical order, so you can't mess. It. You can't mess it up, even if you try. Root. Stage. Stage. Right. SP file stage dot what? O R A. Right. You understand what I'm saying? You see it now. See it now, Charlene. So we we've connected the three dots. What? Um. DBCA, ETC Aura tab, and the SP file. Okay, so everything's looking copacetic, right? We're all good to go. Okay, everything is making sense. Now, everybody, let's look in our dot bash profile, number four, place number four. We're doing all this so you can know how to even connect to the database. To <clears throat> I'm telling you, if they ever give you this freebie, <coughs> if they give you a freebie like this, Oh my goodness, jump on it like a big dog. Yes, sir. All right, would you take off points if, because me personally, I would never say Oracle dot, I mean, underscore home because it's just too long. But would you take off points if I just said like home or- No, if you said what? Or home or tilt. Hell no. Because these are- No, oh wait, you mean this Oracle home? Yeah, let me- Hell no. Do you guys hear what he just said? You're done. You're done? Yeah. Like you just can't say tilde slash TBS? Tilde? Yeah. Tilde has nothing to do with this. 
No! No! Tilda is not our uncle home. No! Tilda is what? Home Oracle. Uh, Do you understand what I'm saying? I see what I did. Yes. All right. Look, look, let's not, let's not get this Oracle home. The address for this Oracle home, right, is what? Slash app, slash Oracle, slash product, slash 11.2, slash DB home, right? This is this. Tilda is just this, slash home, slash Oracle. No, bro. Two complete, it ain't got nothing to do with nothing. They, they're not even, got nothing to do with each other. Because I was just wondering, because it, 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 here, because, yeah. So. Yeah, just let's move on. <laughs> you got it? <laughs> got nothing to do with each other. Don't ever say that, no. Right? Okay, so now, so we've done, we've looked at all three. We've looked at all three. We've bridged, we've bridged the dots. So now, let's go to number four. What's let's, the third one? No, no, the third one is SP file. The first one is DBCA. Right. Second one was ETC R tab. Right. The third one was your SP file location. Okay. Yes. The third one is your SP file location. All three of the. Yes. Oh, no. I was going go to ahead. The fourth, one. the fourth one that we're going to look at now is our what? Yes, your batch profile. Right? Your dot batch profile to be very, to be very um, specific. Right? Why? Listen to me. Everybody, very good. Why is there a dot? Very good. Why is there a dot? Because it's hidden. It's a hidden file. It's a special file. It's an important file. They don't want just anybody to be able to see it. Unless you do what? How do I look? Okay, very good. How do I see all my hidden files? Stash A. LS Dash A. Minus 10. LS Dash A. LS space that what? Dash A. Is it Dash A or LA? Dash well, I mean, Does it work? You if you do ls space dash a, yeah. and it works, everybody type ls space dash a, type cd enter, and then do ls space dash a, cd enter, cd enter first, cd enter first, and then do ls space dash a, enter. Everybody do ls space dash la. It shows you a lot more, doesn't it? Yeah. Shows you a lot more. Yeah. Ella, Ella shows you a lot more. If I want to sh listen, if I want to see Mr. Mr. Nickens, if I want to see all my hidden files, I do LS space that's LA. Yeah, but no, see. The no, LS space that A will work, yes. The, the L just puts it in long format. The A is, you still see the same amount no, of stuff. No, no, you don't. Absolutely not. It's in horizontal, but it's nowhere close. Look, if you do LS space that's LA, you see there's a lot more hidden files with a dot. You guys see that? A lot more. It's a lot more. Just trust me, it is. It's not important. It's not important. Huh? What are we wrong folder? Oh, no, no, no. What, what, did you type CD enter first? What, what directory are you in? What directory are you in? No, what directory are you in? Yeah, I'm in, um, huh? I'm in, I'm in Tilda. So How do you know? I entered. You did see the answer, right? Yeah, I'm in, I'm in Tilda. I can, yeah. in dash A gives me all the information. Do you do LS space dash LA? Yeah, it just gives me the same files in long No, the, it shows you more hidden files. It's not important. Huh? 268? Yeah. Right. Right. It gives you more, right? All right. All right. Now watch this. Everybody, so now, everybody, let's now, so we've done three of, three of the four, right? So we've done check mark, check mark, check mark. This is what you do when you first get to your job. Okay. When you get to your job, well, really, you don't really have to go to DBCA. You don't really have to go, to, because DBCA, whatever you do dynamically in DBCA will pop, will show in your ETC Aura tab. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Whatever you do, mm -hmm. I wish you guys would do your projects. How many times do I tell you guys to do your projects in this class? How many times do I stop the class to tell you to do your projects? Look at, look at, oh, look at this Jelani guy. I'm very surprised. 
You went from 90 to 60? I'm all messed up. I'm broken, man. I lied. It wasn't a true story. No, it's too late. <laughs> he didn't know what to do? I think I might know who the guy is, and if it is who I think it is, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Come on. Hmm. From this, when you leave this class, as long as you're an oracle, you will never not know how to recover from any situation. Any situation. Any. You're gonna have it on your script, on your thumb drive. Oh, you have a problem? What's the problem? Oh, this happened? Okay, I can fix it in two seconds. Okay. All right. Everybody, I want you to catch your dot bash profile. Clear your screen first. Clear your screen. Clear your screen, everybody. Clear your screen. Clear it. Clear your screen, please, if you don't mind. Clear your screen, if you don't mind. Right? Clear it. Now, I want you to catch your dot bash profile. So we've done three out of four. We've done three out of four. So has everybody cat it the dot cat space dot bash underscore profile? Cat space dot bash underscore profile. Cat space dot bash underscore profile. Right? Cat space dot bash underscore profile. Has everybody done that? Okay. Now what do you guys notice? Right? In your dot bash profile, in your dot bash profile, it shows you two things. Two things it shows you. Number one, it shows you your Oracle home. It shows you your Oracle home, which should be the same thing in your what? ETC or tab. Make sense? It also shows you your Oracle SID. Now watch this. Watch this. The purpose of your dot bash profile is to is to really do two things. One, if I, right now we have multiple databases on our server, correct? We have stage and we have prod, for instance, right? Very good. The one, this is the one file that is static, meaning it is not dynamic in nature, right? Whatever you do in DBCA does not affect your .bash profile, right? You have to change it physically, manually, right? So. If I delete a database from my DBCA, right, it's not going to change it in my dot .bash profile. No, it's not. It's just not. That's why a lot of you guys, when you attempt to even connect, when you attempt to connect and start up, it won't even work. Why? Because when you delete a database, when you delete a database from your server, it's going to delete it in ETC or tab. It's also, most importantly, it's going to delete it from your SP file location. Right? So, but your dot bash profile will be left alone. So, for instance, if we delete stage now, right, and we, if we put stage in our, um, uh, is this stage that's in everybody's bash profile? It's stage, right? For the most part, right? Whatever it is, right? What I'm saying is, if I deleted this database, it will delete it in DBCA, delete it in the ETC R tab, it will delete it in um, at your, um, your SP file location, but then it's not going to delete it in your dot bash profile. It won't. You have to manually do that. This is why every time when you do um, single plus slash assist DBA, right? It'll see you, the first thing you're gonna, you're gonna see is connected to an idle instance. Uh oh, that's the first clue. That's the first clue, right? It'll connect. It'll still connect because there's something in your .bash profile, right? Now, when you try to start up, it's gonna say what? Unable to open up SP, um, the init database name .or because why it has been deleted dynamically the sb file right for what it thinks is in the dot bash profile has been deleted <laughs>